morning, brothers and sisters. I am Reverend Elswith Clare, your liturgist for today. Our celebrants for the communion are Bishop, Bishop A. Moses Bengushe and Reverend Otto O. Wade. I invite you to prepare for your communion this morning. Sitting aside a table, spread a white cloth on the table, get some juice and some bread and have those prepared for the Holy Communion service that will follow, liturgy that will follow later on. Our organist today is Brother Gregory Solis. Join us now from the Belize Honduras district today, May 24, as we worship on this Elder's Gate Lord's Day. We meet to celebrate this day to remind us of Wesley's conversion, John's seeking for the grace of God, ended in the meeting house on Aldersgate Street in London. John Wesley's heart was strangely warm on May 24, 1738. And we pray that as you participate in worship, your hearts also may be strangely warm in response to God's call on your lives. Worship today is led by the team of ministers in the Belize Honduras district and the combined choir will lead us in singing. The congregational enjoy will be led now by Reverend Anthony Cuthmont. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall show forth your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and evermore shall be. Amen. Let us now blend our voices in the hymn, Jesus, the name high over all, number 49 in our voices in praise, after which Reverend Njungu will lead us in the prayer of adoration. Jesus, the name high over all, in hell or earth or sky, angels and men before him fall, and devil fears and fly, and devils fear and fly. <laughs>
Let us go to God in prayer of adoration and confession. Of pardon. That will be here or prayer, O Lord. After which Bishop A. Moses Benguche will bring us the greetings. All this will be followed by the hymn numbered 141. See how great a flame aspires. Kindled by a spark of grace, Jesus loved the nation's fires, sets the kingdoms on a blaze. Prayer of adoration. Let us pray. In this time of worship, we welcome you, O God. We welcome you, O Christ. We welcome you, O Holy Spirit. We adore you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Turn our minds unto you so that we may understand the true meaning of life. Turn our hearts unto you so that we may abide in your love and your love may flow through us. Turn our wheels unto your word so that you may guide us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer of confession and declaration of pardon. Let us pray in quietness of our hearts. Confess our sins to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we have sinned against you in what we have thought and said and done. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and turn away from what is wrong. Forgive us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Help us to draw closer to you so that we may live as you would have us live. Amen. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This is his gracious word. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. Here is good news for all who put their trust in Christ. Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. life anew, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. I greet us all as we continue to celebrate in the spirit of John and Charles Wesley, Aldersgate, Lord's Day. We are truly blessed as a people in Belize and Honduras throughout the world as we commune together on this day having celebrated ascension lord's day may the spirit of god and may the energy of john and charles wesley continue to speak to our christian lives god bless you as you continue to celebrate and as we celebrate together 
Amen. Now have the ministry of the word. The collect and the Old Testament lesson will be read by Reverend Esther Hannes of Utila. That will be followed by the responsive reading to be led by Reverend C. Bernard Duncan. We receive the tedium laudamus, which will be sung by the combined choir. The epistle will be read by Reverend Charles Molimena. We pray the colic together. Almighty God, who raised up your servants, John and Charles Wesley, to proclaim anew the gift of redemption and the life of holiness, pour out your spirit and revive your work among us, that inspired by the same faith and upheld by the same grace, we may fulfill our calling to seek and save those who are being lost in the pursuit of the ushering in of your kingdom here on earth. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our sovereign Lord. Amen. The Old Testament lesson comes from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 22 through 32 and verse 37. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, 
It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my own holy name, which you have profaned among the nations in which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you I display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you onto your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you. And you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you, and make you follow my statues, and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will summon the green and make it abundant, and lay no famine upon you. I will make the fruit of the tree and the produce of the fields abundant so that you may never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. Then you shall remember your evil ways and your dealings that were not good and you shall loathe yourself for your iniquities and your abominable deeds. It is not for your sake that I will act says the Lord God. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and dismayed for your ways, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, I will also let the house of Israel ask me to do this for them, to increase their population. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The responsive reading comes to us from Psalm 130, verses 1 to 8. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities. Lord, who could stand? But there's forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen.
our epistle reading this Sunday is coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verses 7 up to 13. The message to Philadelphia. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, these are the words of the Holy One, the true one, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your work. Look, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews and are not, but are lying. I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you. Because you have kept my word of patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. I'm coming soon. Hold fast to what you have so that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will write on you the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from my God out of heaven and my own new name. Let everyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now join in the singing of the Wesley's Conversion Hymn. Where shall my wandering soul begin? How shall I all to heaven aspire? A slave redeemed from death and sin, a brand plucked from the eternal fire. After this hymn, we will receive the gospel reading and the elders' gift experience to be read by the Reverend C. David Goff.
gospel for Aldersgate comes to us from the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 14 to 16. The question about fasting. Then the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and a worse tear is made. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise be to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Aldersgate Experience Let us recall to mind the experience which in the providence of God called the Methodist Church into being as it is recorded for us in the Journal of John Wesley for the 24th of May, 1738. John Wesley wrote in his journal, By the grace of God, I resolve to seek faith unto the end and by absolutely renouncing all dependence in whole or in part upon my own works of righteousness, and by adding to the constant use of all other means of grace, continual prayer, for this very thing, justifying faith, a full reliance on the blood of Christ shed for me, a trust in Him as my Christ, as my justification, sanctification and redemption I continued to seek it till Wednesday May 24 1738 I think it was about 5 this morning that I opened my testament on these words there are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises even that you should be partakers of the divine nature 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. Just as I went out, I opened it on these words. Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. In the afternoon, I was asked to go to St. Paul's. The anthem was, Out of the deep have I called unto thee, O Lord. In the evening, I went very unwillingly to a society in Aldersgate Street where one was reading Luther's preface to the epistle to the Romans. About a quarter before nine, while he was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Jesus Christ, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I felt that I did trust Christ for salvation and an assurance was given to me that he had taken away my sins, even me, and saved me from the law of sin and death. Two days before John was converted at Aldersgate, his brother Charles had a similar experience of saving faith. The change in heart released immeasurable gifts for Christian poetry and hymnody. In 50 years, Charles Wesley wrote thousands of hymns of faith and praise, now shared and loved by the worldwide Christian family. On Tuesday, two days after his conversion, Charles wrote a hymn of celebration. Where shall my wandering soul begin? In his journal for the 24th of May, he wrote, Towards ten. My brother was brought in triumph by a troop of our friends and declared, I believe. Thanks be to God. We are so privileged to have the junior Christian endeavor of the Utila Methodist Church in Utila, Honduras, sharing with us in this Aldersgate service. We now invite them to lead us in worship. Bless the Lord. O oh my soul, the Utila Mispa Junior Christian Endeavor.
bless the Lord, O my soul. Thank you for that item from Utila, Miss Virginia Christian Endeavor. Now, brothers and sisters, let us quiet our hearts for a time of prayer and reflection. The World Methodist Christian Social Affirmation. We believe in God, creator of the world and of all people, and in Jesus Christ incarnate among us, who died and rose again, and in the Holy Spirit, present with us to guide, strengthen, and comfort. We believe. God, help our unbelief. We rejoice in every sign of God's kingdom, in the upholding of human dignity and the community, in every expression of love, justice, and reconciliation, in each act of self-giving on behalf of others, in the abundance of God's gifts entrusted to us that all may have enough in all responsible use of the earth's resources. Glory be to God on high and on earth be peace. We confess our sin, individual and collective, by silence or action, through the violation of human dignity based on race, class, age, sex, nation, or faith, through the exploitation of people because of greed and indifference, through the misuse of power in personal, communal, national, and international life, through the search for security by those military and economic forces that threaten human existence, through the abuse of technology which endangers the earth, and all life upon it. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We commit ourselves individually and as a community to the way of Christ, to take up the cross, to seek abundant life for all humanity, to struggle for peace with justice and freedom, to risk ourselves in faith, hope, and love, praying that God's kingdom may come. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. The Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him, all things were made. For us human beings and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was born a human being. He suffered death, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life who proceeds from the Father 
and who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge the baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, and who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us lift our voices together as we sing the hymn number 237, My God, I am thine. want to thank a young person, Sister Keda Martin from the St. Luke congregation, who will bless us with a dance this morning. After the dance, we receive the prayers of intercession to be led by Reverend Randy Webster and Reverend Angus Caetano.
prayers of intercessions on page 9. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, whose spirit help us in our weakness and guides us in our prayer. We pray for the church and for the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Renew the life and faith of the church. Strengthen our witness and make us one in Christ. Grant that we and all who confess that Christ is Lord may be faithful in your service and fill us with your spirit that the world may be turned to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We lift up to you the Connectional Conference of the MCC, Methodist Church in the Caribbean and the America. We pray for Errol, Connectional Bishop, and for UNIT, Vice President. Watch over the eight district presidents, including Moses, Bishop of our district. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the nation in the ways of justice, liberty, and peace. We pray for the leaders of the nation of the world. Help them to seek the unity and welfare of all people. Give to all in a turn to wisdom to know and strength to do what is right. Lord, in your mercy. Guide the nations in the ways of justice, liberty, and peace. We pray for the leaders of the nations of the world. Help them to seek the unity and the welfare of all people. Give to all in authority wisdom to know and strength to do what is right. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. As we face the ravages of COVID-19, be with all those on the front line of this fight. Comfort those in sorrow. Heal the sick in body or in mind and deliver the oppressed. Grant us compassion for all who suffer. Help us to carry one another's burdens that we, we, we may fulfill the law of Christ. Help us, O God, that we may cooperate with government, health authorities, and the law enforcement agencies. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Receive our thanks and praise for all who have served you faithfully here on earth, and especially those who have revealed to us your grace in Christ, including your servants, John and Charles Wesley, Thomas Cook, Nathaniel Gilbert, John Baxter, Bessie, Sophia Campbell, Mary Alley, Thomas Wilkinson, Susanna Gooding Beal, former president of the Leeward Islands and the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos districts, Livingston R. Malcolm. Our Connectional Secretary, Glenna Spencer, and others whose names we mention quietly in our hearts. May we and all your people, Lord, share the life and the joy of your kingdom. Them through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Please join us in singing the Lord's Prayer.
communion hymn numbered 433. Jesus, we thus obey thy last and kindest word here in thine own appointed way. We come to meet thee, Lord. After the singing of this hymn, the celebrants, Bishop A. Moses Bengushe and Reverend Otto O. Wade, will lead us in the sacrament of the Holy Communion. This Sunday we observe not only worship but we also observe the sacrament of Holy Communion and we trust and pray that the family you would have prepared your table the wine the bread as you would have laid it out and prepare to share with us in the sacrament of the Lord's Supper there remember that your brother or sister has a grievance against you leave your gift before the altar and go your way first be reconciled with your brother and sister and then come and offer your gift the peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you 
the Lord be with you and also with you lift up your heart we lift them up unto the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and fitting so to do it is a good and a pleasant thing joyful and salutary always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise Lord God ever living ever blessed Almighty all loving through Jesus Christ your son our Lord you created all things and made us in your image and when we had fallen into sin you gave him to be our Savior he shared our human nature and lived a fully human life he suffered rejection and condemnation and died on the cross you raised him up from the dead and you exalted him to the glory of your right hand where he reigns forever as priest and king and makes intercession for us in witness of his glory and honor you poured out the Holy Spirit building up many people into one body making us living members of your Holy Church and enabling us to stand before you to sing your praises and celebrate your mighty acts and especially on this day we give you thanks for John and Charles Wesley whom you raised up to spread scriptural holiness for the reformation of the nation beginning with the individual who accepts the salvation you freely offer in Jesus Christ our Lord therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we join in the hymn of everlasting praise holy holy holy, holy, holy. Lord, Lord God, God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread into his holy hands, and looking up to heaven, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ, Christ has, has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ will come again. again. Therefore, Father, in obedience to his command, we do this in remembrance of him, praying that you will accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit we will receive your gifts of bread and wine, may share in the body and blood of Christ and become united with him. And as we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, we pray that you will bring us with your whole creation to your heavenly kingdom. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you, with you o Father, Father, in the, the unity, unity of, of the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit be all be honor, honor and glory from, from all who dwell on earth and in heaven, heaven throughout the ages of ages. ages. Amen. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. Amen. The cup of blessing which we bless is a sharing in the blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. Though, Though we, we are, are many, we are one, one body because we share the one loaf and partake of the same drink. I invite us to bow our heads as we 
at this particular time meditate on the fact that Jesus Christ came to be our Lord ascended and uh, will, who will come again the prayer of humble access pray with me Lord, Lord we, we come, come to your table, table trusting in your mercy and not in any goodness of our own. We are not worthy to gather up the crumbs under your table, but it is your nature always to have mercy, and on that we depend. So feed us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, that we may forever live in him and he in us. body of Christ broken for you. My brother, the body of Christ broken for you. Take and eat and we are thankful. take and we drink with thanksgiving. At this time in your homes, we invite you to take the bread in the remembrance that Christ's body was broken for you and be thankful. Amen. You will now partake as we share together. Take and drink in the remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you and be thankful. Amen. Gracious God, we thank you that you have met us in this very special way on this special very special day in the life of our church we thank you for the rich heritage that you have given to us of sharing at table and we thank you lord especially that you have fed us in this sacrament united us with christ and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all mankind amen amen The recessional hymn numbered 243. O oh, happy day that fixed my choice on you, my Savior and my God. We, well, may all this glowing heart rejoice and tell its raptures all abroad. After the singing of this hymn, Bishop A. Moses Bengoshe will pronounce the benediction.
benediction. Now the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the good shepherd of the sheep, with the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good thing to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The God of peace, which passes all understanding, make your hearts and minds in the knowledge and in the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessings of God the Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.